Hey, it's Tim here. Tableau have just announced Tableau Plus. I didn't say Pulse, I said Plus. The pricing has changed in this video. I'm gonna break it down as ever. Let's get started. So here we are on the blog post. Tableau Plus, new edition with premium AI, enterprise capabilities and premier success. Those are essentially the three core things they've added. What is Tableau Plus? Well, we'll just go straight to what's included here. So you can see that it, it's essentially the bundling of a bunch of capabilities that Tableau already kind of have or have announced, which is the critical bit. So the top one, Einstein Copilot for Tableau. I'll come back to this. Data Cloud. Uh, this is actually a capability that you know Tableau have talked about for quite some time, but they're, they're kind of finally here. Einstein AI request credits, advanced management, data management, data connect, premier success, and e-learning for creators and explorers. If we go through this in a little bit more detail, Einstein Copilot for Tableau announced the Tableau conference coming in 24.2, only going to be in Tableau at Plus. Data Cloud, a new capability. Of course, if I just bring out my sidebar here, we'll click on these. We'll actually go take a look at these. You can see that some of these capabilities are things that we've all been sort of talking about. So, um, you know, T Tableau has spent a lot of time in the in the last few sort of, let's say, months, maybe even year or so, kind of announcing each of these things as separate things, right? Sort of getting people really excited about them. Uh, Einstein AI request credits. So if I click on that, you'll see that Tableau AI is the core capability around Tableau. I've covered this in uh, my videos for Tableau Pulse. Um, you can go ahead and check that out. But Tableau AI is essentially the core uh, capability around that. And it makes requests. And those credits are essentially going to be made available to you here. So you kind of don't abuse the, the system on, the, on their cloud platform. If I go back, uh, advanced management has existed before. Uh, this is essentially the Tableau server or Tableau cloud monitoring capability. It works slightly differently on both platforms. On cloud, it gives you more stuff. On server, it gives you more visibility. Data management, this is where Tableau Prep Conductor lives. This is where metadata capabilities live in the Tableau ecosystem. Some really powerful stuff in there as well. I, I once did a session at a user group to ask 100 people to put their hands up if they use this. Uh, two people put their hands up and one of them didn't even know they had it as a capability, even though they did know uh, they had it because they had one of the features I just mentioned. They didn't realize some of the other capabilities that were in there. So data management is something that, again, I think people have, don't use that often, doesn't come up that often has been an add-on for quite some time. I'll come back to those two. Data Connect, this is, it says new, but when you when you click on the blog post, it goes back to April, 2024. So I don't know if it's new or what's going on here. I need to, I need to sort of do my digging on this and just better understand it. It might be new as of Tableau conference season, if that makes sense. But this is the release where it actually gets pushed out to, to everyone's machines. Premier Success, this is sort of the white glove treatment for I think what used to be sort of the dab Tableau blueprint rollout system, um, but you get a little bit more of a tailored approach to how to fast track success with resources, guidance, and expedited support at every stage of your journey. And this is sort of where the premium support comes in as well. And e-learning for creators and explorers, essentially enablement out of the box. So that's what's in Tableau Plus. What is slightly sort of um, interesting is there are two discussions to be had here. Number one, the pricing has changed and it seems that Tableau Plus is a new premium tier at the very top level, okay? Number two, the way this has come out before 24.2. So let me start with the first one, the pricing. The pricing has changed. Now, whenever we talk about pricing, I always go to the Tableau pricing page. If you want to know how to go here, go to Tableau, go to the Tableau landing page, go to products, go to plans and pricing. And if you click on plans and pricing, it takes you to this page. Now, because I am in the UK, it does a little bit of a, uh, a UK twang on the website and it puts everything in pounds for me. But if you take that off, you'll see here that Tableau Plus is available. They don't always update the CMS globally at the same time. So the British one takes a bit longer. So that's why I've gone to the U US page here. On here, we see something that I want to call out. 754215. This is the Tableau Cloud pricing today, not the Tableau Plus pricing. There is no detail on the Tableau Plus pricing, even though they've just announced it. So that is sort of thing number one. Thing number two, previously you used to be able to have Tableau Server available as a comparison on this page. And something they did like four months ago is they made Tableau Server more expensive to match the cloud pricing. So 75, 42, 15. 
If you go down here and you click on this little link here, you actually are able to access the Tableau server pricing and you'll see it's the same, 75.42.15. So there is this additional element that Tableau server gets updates less often, uh, has not had things like Tableau uh, Pulse added to it, won't have some of the cloud capabilities added to it, even though that's definitely where the focus is going with the AI capabilities. Note, all the AI capabilities, I think, will require Tableau Cloud by default. Uh, things like Einstein Copilot might not. That might be available for server, but with Tableau Plus, you're going to have to pay a bit more to access that capability. And then here, you do get a bit of a breakdown for Tableau Data Management and Tableau Server Management, but it's pretty obvious here that they've just not updated this page. They've kind of forgotten about it because it's in the old Tableau sort of design style. This is hardly legible. Um, but yeah, this basically needs, someone needs to come in here and update this page. They've kind of forgotten about it. It's not important anymore. It's this Tableau server. This is the old thing. It's it's hidden away in a tiny little URL here, pricing here um, that you can get to. But that I just wanted to call that out. Like server and cloud are the same price. They moved up server pricing to match cloud pricing. It did used to be more expensive. So there's actually only one current price on the Tableau um, product suite. And with Tableau Plus, it's really hard to say that. I keep wanting to say Tableau Pulse and it's Tableau Plus. Literally the exact same letters apart from one character in the wrong order. It does not help my dyslexic brain. Anyway, Tableau Plus, when you click on this, if you click Learn More, you go to this page. It's not really that useful. There's no transparency on pricing here. I think that's a fair criticism. You know, when you have something new like this, it's good to know how much more of a markup it is. Uh, and then I think what you can do is you can comment on a question, hit submit. And because I'm logged in here, it's going to send some details off to someone and someone will call me tomorrow and talk to me about it. Okay, that's that's sort of something I just wanted to call out. The pricing page has not updated. It's not obvious to see what the pricing is. I'm assuming that will come out over time. Now, why I think that is important is this. Data management and advanced management used to be at around 20 to 25% markup on your total estate. So by estate, what I mean is when you get Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud, you bundle up the total price for your, your organization, and then you would add 20 to 25% on top of that to get the price for data management or advanced management. It'd be an additional bump uh, on top of your estate. Now, that price used to be transparent. Then it got removed from the website, and uh, it was part of the sort of sales negotiation. So... Uh, a dynamic you'd see a lot is the sales reps would actually add it on. Uh, and then when you'd say, oh, that's that's too much, they'd take it off to kind of act as a way of defending the core price of Tableau, if that makes sense. Um, you can go to Reddit and read all about that kind of dynamic. Um, there's lots of posts there if you, if you sort of rummage around a little bit. But anyway, it's all there. And the thing about that pricing is because there is no one place to see what all of these things cost, it's really hard to know whether this is great value or not. It could be great value. There are some customers who have all of this, and actually they're probably complaining about having to get an invoice with seven different things when they just want to go to their procurement team and go, here's one thing. It's called Tableau Plus, and it has all of these things included. Great value. Because when you compare it to things like the way Microsoft bundle things, Microsoft do exactly the same thing, right? Do it in slightly different ways with their cloud and Azure offerings, but it's, it's all the same sort of trick. Um, as you start to sort of dig into these bundles, you tend to realize that things in there you're going to use a lot and the things in there you're not going to use at all. So it's hard to critique this new offering and know whether it's a great value because A, we don't actually know the price. You just saw we went to the pricing page. It's not there. Yes, I'm sure I could probably bring someone in Tableau and get the answer. But it's never a straight answer. It's always related to the customer. And then on top of that, um, you know, I just don't think that should be the experience that everyone goes to. I think it should just be on the homepage or not be there at all. Um, and and just sort of be upfront with that with people about that. There's a sort of a tiny thing here at the bottom saying, hey, if you want to know more about it, contact us, get in touch. Fine. Okay. That is the way that is. Uh, that's 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 true with lots of enterprise companies, to be fair. Um, the the other element about this is. It's also difficult to know how many customers had components of all of this, right? Because for all the new things, well, customers didn't have those things before, so they're not crying for them. Maybe they want them because they've heard about them at conference. I'll come back to that. But to have a price that now encapsulates all of that, um, they can only really look at data management, advanced management. And to be honest with you, that is it. E-learning for creators. Those are the only things that have existed before. Everything else is net new. And you can kind of look at that here and, and kind of see 
that's going to happen. 24.2 will be the first time this is all available to everyone. If I scroll down, there is another element to this, which is, I think, more of a roadmap for where this pricing strategy is going. <laughs> Instead of acting as a feature roadmap to things to get excited about, I think it actually acts as a, a statement of intent about where Tableau pricing is going to go with all these new things that we heard about at conference. And this is where it kind of leaves a bitter taste in my mouth because we came off conference very excited about lots of different things. And unfortunately, it looks like the majority of that is going to be in Tableau Plus. And the way these things work means that no one has Tableau Plus today. I don't know if many conversations are looking looking to increase the price of their current commitments at the moment. Um, and so it does make it a little bit of a difficult discussion to be having, you know, with your with your sort of recruitment team. Say, so, hey, yeah, we already have Tableau, but actually they've released a bunch of these new capabilities and they're now part of this new pricing tier. Now, to be fair, lots of companies who've released AI capabilities have started off with a free offering. In this case, I'd say that was Tableau Pulse. And then they've added a pricing or premium tier on top of that because all that AI work takes time and resources. So this is kind of a way of rewarding that. Uh, sorry, rewarding? No, uh, rewarding is not the right word. It's a way of uh, clawing back that investment. Clawing back is what I wanted to say. And on top of that, what is really obvious here is that, look, uh, premium pulse features. So Tableau pulse, the thing that we've all said, and actually many of the things people are asking for, all of this stuff is going to be in premium uh, only. Einstein Copilot for Tableau Desktop. When they say authoring, this means Tableau Web Edit and Desktop. Okay, what I just said there is incorrect, and I've come to the Tableau 24.2 page to clarify this. My assumption up until now had been that the Einstein Copilot features that we see here on the 24.2 page were coming in Tableau Prep for Desktop and the aforementioned Einstein Copilot for Tableau Desktop which Tableau slated for 24.3 would also be coming to Tableau Desktop. But there's this thing that Tableau do where they always demo features in uh, Tableau web authoring. And I think in doing so, in kind of inadvertently communicate that these features are available in desktop and in web editing. It's, it's pretty consistent in their whole marketing guide. So it's not unreasonable to think that when you see this uh, image here, to expect this capability in, um, you know, uh, Copilot um, for desktop, if that makes sense. If I go to sort of Tableau Prep here, when you see this little window, um, you expect this to be available in Tableau Prep for desktop. And what I've found out, and this is why I'm sort of adding this bit to the video, is that that is not the case. Einstein Copilot will only be available through the browser. That is probably the better way to think of it. And so when you come to this sort of drop down, if I actually go to Tableau Desktop, you'll see that there is nothing here for Tableau Desktop. And in fact, 24.2 had nothing for desktop anyway in terms of Einstein Copilot. If we go to Tableau Prep, you'll see here that we do get Einstein Copilot for Tableau Prep uh, in here. And apparently my understanding is that this is actually not the case. So this is somewhat misleading because if I go to Tableau Prep or I go to Tableau Cloud, it actually shows all of these capabilities as part of Tableau Prep or Tableau Cloud. But with that announcement of Tableau Plus and the fact that these Einstein Copilot features are only going to be in that, this whole marketing page is actually incorrect. 24.2 is incorrect. So um, it kind of jives with that page, but it doesn't. It's kind of correct. Yes, these features will only be in cloud, but it th these dropdowns are not uh, pricing segmentation dropdowns. They are product segmentation drop downs. So it's technically correct, but you can now see why it's a little bit misleading. Um, and I, I totally missed this. I Man, I would have said something during the Tableau conference uh, sessions when we were talking about it. it yeah, when we see these sort of product marketing images, we, we take them at face value. We go with the assumptions of what we've seen before, but it's, it's you know, there's, there's a small detail here that definitely we need to dig into once Einstein Copilot comes out. So that will be a, an interesting journey, but I don't want to make this video about that. Let's get back to the video. I just wanted to make sure this detail was here and that correction was clear. To not have that as part of desktop, oh, that's a stinger. To have that as an additional add-on, that's, that's going to be unfortunately a bit of a stinger. Tableau Cloud Manager with up to 50 slides. This was announced at the conference as well. Really cool, allows you to have one set of licenses 
but have multiple cloud instances around the world, which allows you to solve that problem that you had with Tableau Server, where you have sites, but Tableau Cloud doesn't have an equivalent. Now there kind of is with Tableau Cloud Manager, and it gives you one central place to manage your licensing across all of those different cloud instances. So these are this is the roadmap, and all of this is going to be coming to Tableau Plus only. So all those things, maybe a lot of customers over the last few months have gone on to Tableau Cloud, and um, yeah, they've kind of seen this and they're going, oh, great, I'm going to get onto the cloud train. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. There's now a new thing I have to get over um, to, to get these capabilities. And I do think that is a shame. You know, I've been saying for a while that 24.2 is going to be the release for the ages. Like I've, I've been waxing lyrical to lots of people. I mean, they're all going to laugh at me now, but hey, um, saying 24.2 is going to be an absolute banger release. It has so much stuff for everyone, whether it's prep, desktop, or like... So much stuff, and then oh, this 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 turns up and leaves a bit of taste in everyone's mouth. The thing that I think everyone wants to try will be Einstein Copilot, and it's behind this Tableau Plus thing. It's just such a it's such a such a kicker to all the good work that's going on. Now, I don't know how much it costs to build that capability. I don't know how hard it was, and I'm sure Tableau, you know, do their economics or Salesforce do their economics and um, sort of balance these things out. But nonetheless. Just, just for a little bit frustrating. I think it will, it will play into the skeptics' arguments about you know Salesforce pricing, just, just wanting to sort of ex, you know extract more money from their customers. To be fair, like I've said before, all companies who've built AI investments have tended to release a premium product. To be fair, some of these capabilities people were already paying for on top of their standard tablet pricing, so advanced management, data management, uh, enablement. Some of this other stuff, very bespoke, very sort of unique capabilities. They probably couldn't find a, a way to add them to data management or advanced management. And they were kind of becoming a little bit heavy. But I would have argued that something like Data Connect would have been part of data management. You know, data management is the same thing that has virtual connections. So you would have thought those two are basically the same bundle, but apparently not. Um, it almost feels like Tableau wanted to do a new bundle. You could call it, call it AI management or something like that, which added all of these AI capabilities as well. And that would have been, I think, a little bit easy to understand, right? Um, but to have everything sort of pulling you up into this price tier is going to be um, a little bit difficult. Now, to, to fully answer that question about the timing for 24.2, um, there's not really much to say. I've kind of touched on it already. At conference, we kind of got a really good sales pitch from Tablet. Even I think Ravi and I got excited about, look at all these features coming up as an actual roadmap. Wowzers. Ah, this is why, this is why some of that stuff was not part of sort of the standard offering of Tableau. Um, uh, I should have I should have known it was too good to be true. <laughs> Maybe that's unfair of me. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I think Tableau Plus should have been announced at conference. It probably was a discussion roundabout conference. Maybe it's moved so fast since conference they've realized it has to be a separate price. But you would have thought that being upfront with people about the pricing at the same time as you announce the features would have been a good play. And um, maybe that's not the opportunity they had and they've just kind of had to go with this as is and the pricing had to come out literally days before 24.2. I, I think it's days. I don't know when it actually comes out. I sit there, I, something I do is I sit there pinging the CDN to see when they drop the Tableau installers in there. And as soon as I see the Tableau installers, I kind of get, oh, I know, okay. Tableau's about to drop in the next day or two. That's what I that's what I typically do. And I start queuing my video editing process and start sort of uh, swatting on all the notes that I've come across in the documentation to kind of get an early sight of, of how that all works. Um, my my hunch is Tableau twenty four point two will probably come out this week or next week. It's imminent. Essentially, all the stuff has been out. Uh, Tableau Cloud has been updated to match twenty four point two. So if you're using Tableau Cloud, you can already go in and start to use this stuff. And you might be looking for Einstein Copilot and be like, "Hey, where is it? Oh, okay. You need to have Tableau Plus enabled in order to be able to use it." So the timing is a little bit unfortunate. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. The skeptic of me thinks, ah, this could have been done better. The optimist in me does understand that, hey, sometimes when you build features, you do have to sort of claw back that investment. And maybe this is their way of doing it. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. 
I'm still excited about 24.2. My job here is to teach you the features, not to get so deep into this pricing malarkey. Let the CFOs and the pricing teams sort of handle this. But I think you're going to be uh, approached to be asked, hey, what is Tableau Plus about? Hopefully this video has helped you get off the ground. All the links are in the comments. So you can go ahead and look at that. Um, if you happen to be in good contact with your Tableau sales rep, this is the time to get to know them very well to understand how this is going to impact your own situation in your own organization. As for things like Tableau Public, these are unaffected by this. You know, none of these AR features really are coming to Tableau Public. That is a separate video for another day. I was going to do this, this thing about Tableau pricing. I've kind of done it in this video and we've kind of talked about it. Um, if you want to see me do something more deliberate about pricing, um, I can do. If you want to share a story about pricing anonymously, um, uh, um, leave a comment. I don't know. Find a way to reach out to me <laughs> and let me know. I'll keep it anonymous to myself and we can kind of uh, maybe start to paint a picture for what it's really like um, when you are buying Tableau. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.